Hey guys, Edward here with Power Mechanical with a quick tip for your boiler rooms. So last week we were talking about the gauge glass and I gave you a couple of pointers on it. And this week I wanted to give you another tip regarding your sight glass for your boiler and when you're changing it out. And this especially applies to one that might be prone to leaking. Just something that you can check the next time you go to change these out. So basically what we're checking here guys is the, the uh, vertical reference of your inlet to your outlet on your gauge glass. And if you think of it like a plumb bob, that's the best description I can give you. You're, if you have one that's prone to leaking, then it could be that there's some cant on your gauge glass and causing those, um, the, the rubber washers and gaskets in there to be a little bit jacked. Sometimes it's easier to even just have a, a scrap piece of um, gauge glass to use for this because cutting, cutting them a little bit short could be a little bit difficult. So what we're gonna do is remove the, the sight glass and then we're gonna take it out and cut a little bit off of this in order to create that. That way when we run it back up in there, we can create like a vertical reference and see if the outlet and the inlet are lining up together. You know, sometimes cutting these things um, real short can be difficult. That's why using a, a um, scrap piece might be a better idea or a better option. And then once you have it, cut short, you're going to want to reinstall just one side of it. You see I left my, my brass hardware off the bottom. I'm going to run that up, snug it up real tight. And essentially what we're doing is we're checking to see that this uh, vertical orientation or vertical reference line kind of matches up to these two valve faces. So essentially what you're doing, guys, is you're checking these, like I said, these valve faces. And if you think about it, just like in running pipe, if you were to have a 90 coming down to meet up with that other 90, you don't want to have too much uh, of a cant in your, in your pipe going from your inlet to your outlet. So after you've checked that, guys, then you can just go ahead and you can make any adjustments as needed. That way these are lined up uh, better. And then uh, basically we've cut a new glass here and going to install it. We've got other videos that kind of are a little bit more in detail on installing these and uh, I always like to replace the the rubber gaskets and the brass washers in there every time I put in a new gauge glass and uh, just keep in mind that this type of sight glass is preferred as it's got the you can see it's got the red line behind it kind of helps you to show that water level a lot better snug these up and put your protection rods back in there. So if you like these kind of tips, stick around for our channel. And other than that, we'll see you next week for another boiler room tip.